another thing that you may get searched more than others or you've been watched. Mm -hmm. So me and my nephew, we were going to Japan. He came to visit me in Korea. We we're going to Japan and everybody else off the plane were gone. And they searched our bags and we had nothing on us, but they just searched our bags. Every detail, they pulled everything out. And he was like, uncle, why are they doing this? I was like, it's okay. This is just how they do whatever, mm -hmm. but. Mental Health Monday. 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 Korea, they have a very colorful past, things mm -hmm. like that. But if you look at art, fashion, things like that, they're very fashionable people, but they love muted muted tones. Okay. They love buildings that look European. It's just uh -huh. like, the traditional is so beautiful. Like, why are you preserving this culture? Because it mm -hmm. doesn't move into modern society, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. They want to look very sleek and clean mm -hmm. and luxurious. So is that their culture trying to adapt? Or could I think form? so because, um, yeah, because they, you know, te technology-wise, they're like very advanced cultures, but mm -hmm. I think just like the tradition of things look so much better when you have your own mm -hmm. but yeah so countries like that i've seen where like the art is very boxed in but you always have artists who break through and are like doing something different and stepping outside of that but for the most part that's an example of a place where i was like oh the it just never made sense to me like how the houses are shaped like why do you have modern design when you have all these beautiful history that can be um exemplified throughout the city that's what brings tourists there mm -hmm. and then they have like the old traditional houses just in one area of the city like one little square part and you don't really get to see them yeah all right so what are the pros and cons of traveling while black pros mm -hmm of traveling while black. Because mm. I know you probably have to do some deconstruction in terms of how you're viewed and digested when it comes to other cultures. Right. Um, so the pros that I would say, I'll give you three pros. Mm -hmm. Three pros while traveling while black is that you won't lack people paying attention to you. Okay. And I can go with that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, there are pros, but specifically while black, I can't, mm -hmm. you know, it's hard to think of those. No, 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 I got you. Um, so I would say you won't have a lack of attention. Mm -hmm. um, oh, no, connecting with other black people who travel. Okay. That's always amazing because you can see, like, a brother from, like, Nigeria or somewhere else, and y'all did a nod and just, mm -hmm. like, keep going. So that's always amazing because it's almost like, I mean, you're a black man, so you know, like, we see somebody else and you do not, especially if you're traveling, it gives you that feeling of, like, it's almost like a communication, like, I see you, you see me, yes, mm -hmm. I understand, but I love that. And then, uh, pro while traveling black, um, people automatically think are something that you can dance or sing, so a lot of times you may get pulled, like, mm -hmm. oh, come with us, or, like, people just think you're cool for some reason. Yeah. yeah. All right, so what Cons. Um... You know, I've noticed that like black people really aren't safe anywhere. Mm -hmm. Like there's racism literally everywhere. Yeah, um, and even it's in, different forms. Right, and even yeah. in countries like Brazil, which has the largest African population outside of the continent, mm -hmm. um, there's colorism. And then people don't want to be classified as black because of all these other reasons. Mm -hmm. They don't be classified as black legally, but they will say they're black. Yeah. But they won't write it down that they're black. Mm -hmm. um, so one con is that black people just don't seem safe all the time. Um, I remember another thing that you may get searched more than others or you've been watched. Mm -hmm. So me and my nephew, we were going to Japan. He came to visit me in Korea. We we're going to Japan and everybody else off the plane were gone. And they searched our bags and we had nothing on us, but they just searched our bags. Every detail, they pulled everything out. And he was like, uncle, why are they doing this? I was like, it's okay. This is just how they do whatever, mm -hmm. but that. And another con, uh, it's like sometimes I think people don't think that you have means or like, they're just like, oh, I'm not paying attention to him or something like that. So they just assume that, oh, you're just another black person like with nothing. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people have this negative connotation of black people just in general, mm -hmm. over movies and media. How do you protect your inner self when it comes to those experiences? Because I know to me, wellness is practicing patience and adapting to what life has done to you. Mm -hmm. That's how I felt about wellness when it comes to yoga and meditation. And people ask, uh, why do we have wellness and mental health? These things are layered. They're closely mm -hmm. related to each other. So when it comes to mental health, you're dealing with what's going on up here. And when it comes to wellness, you're dealing with what's going on in here and how that translates to your body. Right. What was the question one more time? How do you protect your spirit? Okay, uh, I would say because I've done it enough, mm -hmm. I don't allow things to get to me yeah. as much. I kind of just like, hmm, okay, whatever, that's your miss out if you think, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Um, so I don't try to think about it too much. Yeah. Um, uh, how do I protect? And I do, I now, every time I travel, I have a yoga mat with me. Okay, so um, that thing's just on you no matter right, what. Right, so every yeah. morning I'm doing yoga. I try to find, like, before I go there, I try to look up, oh, where am I staying? Like, is there a gym or like a yoga class I can take or mm -hmm. things like that? I try to connect with people who um, 
like on Instagram, maybe they're like, we have some type of relationship, like, hey, I'm trying to the area, can you give me some tips and stuff? They may not reach back and then maybe they will, but it's worth a try. Mm -hmm. um, but just trying to connect with like-minded people and also have keep my routine in a sense. So anytime I travel, even if it's up the street, mm -hmm. Um, when I say up the street, like even if it's like I'm going to Baltimore for the night, I'm going to have incense with me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have like sage with me. I'm mm -hmm. going to have like a yoga mat always yeah. and things like that. Think I need like a piece of things where I could be like, oh, this reminds me of home and this helps center me. Okay. But yeah, I keep my practice and my like certain uh, rituals with me regardless. How many years are you into yoga? So I've been practicing since 2017 consistently. Mm -hmm. Um, but not like yep yeah, on my own mostly. So a lot of things I learned I learned on my own. Mm -hmm. But last September I was going through this whole revamp of like my mental health. I started getting back into therapy. It was like a tough time in my life. 